What is the purpose of the skin? The skin has six purposes, protection, sensation, heat regulation, excretion, secretion, and absorption. Let's look at them now. Protection. Can you imagine if we didn't have any skin? What would be there to protect the inside of our bodies? Think of your skin as a raincoat. It is that waterproof outer barrier that's protecting everything inside of your body. Sensation. Your skin provides you with the ability to feel. Without the ability to feel, you would never know when something was too hot to touch or too cold. Imagine the injuries that you might have uh, if you didn't know what was too hot or what was too cold. The skin responds to heat, cold, touch, pressure, and pain. When the nerve endings are stimulated, that message is sent to the brain and you respond by saying ouch when you feel that pain or you scratch when you have an itch or you pull away when you, you touch something really hot. That's what your sensory function can do for you. Heat regulation. Your skin has an amazing ability to keep you warm when the outside is cool and to keep you cool when the outside is warm. When it's warm out, your body sends blood to the skin to cool off. So that's why your skin gets red when it's warm. It's your skin trying to cool you off. When it's cold outside, your skin turns white because your body is sending your blood further inside your body to try to keep you warm. So your body serves a really, your skin serves a really big function in trying to keep your, your heat temperature regulated in your body. Excretion. Excretion is directly related to heat regulation in the body. Excretion is that release of sweat. So when your body gets too hot, you'll start to sweat. But when you sweat, you excrete water and salt. So that's also a function of, this, of the skin is to get rid of water and to get rid of salt. It's a part of regulating your body temperature, but it's the function of excretion uh, with your skin. Secretion. Secretion has to do with releasing oil onto your skin to keep it soft and pliable. So we've talked about this before. You have those sebaceous glands or those oil glands attached to your hair follicle. And part of the skin's job is to release that oil to protect the outer layer of skin. It's going to pr protect your hair. It's also going to help keep your skin soft and pliable so that it's not dry and cracking all the time. You can see from these pictures how this oil coats the outer layer of the skin and it also coats the hair shaft, which also helps in protection. Absorption. Think about when you put lotion on your hands and face, how it's absorbed by the skin. Or if you've ever needed a medicinal cream for a rash or something like that, your skin can absorb medicine too through the skin. So it doesn't do a lot of absorption, but it can absorb some things uh, to a certain extent to help the skin. Of course, there's only so much your skin can do without your help. If you're not applying sunscreen to your skin when you're out in the sun, or if you're not drinking enough water or staying healthy to keep your blood supply uh, with enough nutrients to feed your skin, then there's not going to be a whole lot your skin can do to protect you. It will do what it can, but eventually that elastin and that collagen in your skin will break down. So make sure you're moisturizing your skin, uh, putting sunscreen on when you go outside, drinking eight glasses of water a day, and maintaining that healthy lifestyle. And if you continue to do all of that, you should maintain a fairly healthy skin.